Hello, uh, welcome to another Mortal Realms Battle Report. We are up to issue 16. Um, this is Delving into Darkness. Zandra Azurbolt made her way into the dark tomb that, glow, that glows with arcane power. Somewhere in the depths of abandoned mausoleum lies a magical weapon steeped in death magic. The geists that are within will not let her retrieve it without a fight, however. Zandria edged forwards through the crumbling ruins. The magical blue flames at the tip of her staff lit the way, casting the corridor ahead in a soft blue light. So I looked, I paused things, I suddenly realised I painted mine green, so I might repaint them blue. <clears throat> Arcane symbols and ruins were had been etched into the walls, skulls and comets and serpentine icons. She assumed there was some kind of prophecy or meaning to the carvings, though she could not decipher it. Ahead she could hear the rattle of chains once more, the telltale noise of chain rust. She quickened her pace, she could not allow them to locate the source of the magic. Stride into the end of the corridor, she emerged into a large chamber, the floor decorated with blue and gold mosaic, untouched by the passage of time. At the far side of the room, a group of chain grass emerged from another corridor, rattling their manacles and chains, screeching in their strange, disembodied voices. Sandra counted six of the spirits in the chamber now, and she was clear that they had felt her presence. One by one, they turned to face her, brandishing their cruel blades and hurling curses in her direction. She could make short work of them. She would make short work of them. She raged the encounter staff in the right hand and thrust out her gauntlet. A bolt of lightning manifested in her palm, only to fizzle and die before she could strike out at any of the guys. Behind the chain grass, something stirred. Thorny briars crawled across the floor the stone floor coiling and twisting like snakes in their wake appeared a ghastly spirit clad in funeral robes a tarnished crown upon her skeletal head the stench of death followed the foul spirit into the chamber Zandra knew her immediately the briar queen had returned Zandra felt nothing but hatred for the uh, cursed geist grasping the heart half of a staff in both hands she charged Okay, all weapons in Sigma have a maximum range, even melee weapons. Yay! Finally! Yay! In this playthrough, we'll show you how to measure range in the combat phase. Yay! That's amazing. Uh, so all this is, is just a short game. Oh, it's scary. The bright ring seed screeching at her loyal fawns in frustration. The gaseous orders run painfully in her head. Go to the tomb, save the staff and bring it to me. She had not expected the search to be so difficult. Sigmar's whelps blocked her path and, she, and how she hated them. She could feel the death magic somewhere nearby calling to her. She was close. It would be hers. Armored footsteps echoed in the tunnels. The golden ones were here. They would have to die. Yeah, so basically this is going to be introducing finally range weapons. Uh, range range into melee weapons. Um, so we've got the cheat sheet here. This is back on the small tomb board, as you can see here. So Sandra's here, the uh, Briar Queen is here, and her six fawns are around her. It's Stormcast go first, so uh, we are in the hero phase, and we do have a hero, so yay! Cast a spell. Um, so it's two dice, isn't it? Two dice, arcane bolt, casting value of five. Uh, one mortal wound. So oh, I don't cast it. But that, that's that movement. Um, okay. So we can we move five. So uh, so we might as well stay three inches away. So we're gonna go up to here. What is it? Three inches here. We go here. Yeah. I'm gonna go here, staying three inches away. Let's just make sure. Get back, get back, Zandra. Okay, so we're gonna stay three inches away there. Um, so that's the movement phase. Uh, Shanda, we don't have any shooting to do because Zandra doesn't have a shooting. Check distance, we're three inches away. Uh, check the distance within 12 inches. It is, so as long as we don't get double one, which we don't, so we can charge in. So we can charge into here, and she has a two-inch staff. So uh, 
That's two inches. Is that two inches on this thing? I think it is, isn't it? There's two inches here. So she can potentially hit the Briar Queen. She can hit this thing and this thing. So really only these two back here are out of our her whacking range. So she has three attacks. So let's get on to that's charge phase. Let's get on to combat. Do combat now. Uh, so three dice, uh, three pluses, three pluses. Uh, automatically unbind a spell. We'll probably be doing that soon. Three pluses, that's three hits. Okay. Uh, three pluses to wound. Ooh, she is doing quite spectacular. It's three wounds. So one of those. So she could just take out all of the. Yeah, she's going to try and take out three of the Cheney Rasps. So they save on a five plus, ignoring Rend. Uh, they don't save. So that is three dead uh, fawns. Okay, so there's that. Uh, Battle shock, still no battle shock. Looking forward to that. So, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're going back. Um, we skipped ahead because now the uh, <coughs> chain grasp. Uh, no, because no, no one's in base contact. No, no, we're fine. We are fine. We took up. Very sensible. Took them all out base contact. So, hero phase. Uh, okay. Yep, yeah, this will be a. Uh... Oh, I've just suddenly realised I am doing this wrong. They can pile in. In their combat phase, they can pile in. So, yeah, we have to go back. We're going to move three inches closer. Like so. I was doing that wrong. So, okay, so let's do go back in time for a wee bit. Three attacks from the Bright Green with her rending. Nope. With one attack with a whip. Six to hit. Three to wound. Uh, three plus to save. Minus rend is five plus. So she doesn't. She takes a wound already. Ouch. Okay. Now the other chain grass player, the fawns, has two attacks. Four plus to hit, one hit, four plus to wound, one wound. So she might be down to two wounds. Uh, no, she saves it. No rends, so she saves it on three plus. Okay, I, I've been playing, I keep forgetting that rule that you can pile in. Um, so I've pre recorded part fifth, uh, 17 before this part because the board was set up for part 15. And it's the same layout. So in that video, next video, I'll make the same mistake where I don't pile in. I've got to remember that. Anyway, hero phase. Yep, okay. She's going to do her arcane bolt for herself. Five plus. She casts it. Um, dispel. I always forget what dispel is. Um, I assume it's two dice. I just have to roll and quickly. Quickly, 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 quickly find a dispel uh, type thing. Uh, Cheng Ross. There's got to be a dispel in here somewhere. Arcane Bolt. Uh, Zandra Grime, so here it is. And two dice. Um, if the dice score equal five, does one damage. Okay, no, no, it's not this one. I can't remember what dispel is. It's got to be here, isn't it? Unbinding spells. Uh, with unbound spell, roll two dice, add scores give a total is greater than the opponent's casting roll. That's nine. That's quite high, isn't it? So sod it, I'm gonna use her void her special rule. She has a void storm scroll, automatically unbind the spell per game. So there we go, I'll automatically unbind it. Uh, movement phase, and uh, charge phase, uh, three inches. Uh, these are so far behind, so they're gonna have to split up ready for next time. That's what that is doing. Because uh, they're so far behind. I don't think she's going to do this. I think she's going to get a butt whipped. Uh, shooting face. Sorry, that. Ugh. Shooting face. Ugh. Why am I making so many mistakes on this little small one? Uh, 10 inches, rending scream, three dice. Uh, three pluses. Hit. Minus three. Yeah, minus. Three. 
Uh, three plus, I don't think I can save it. It's minus three rend. Six, minus five, four, I can do it if I get a six, no. So she's on two wounds now. Yeah, two wounds. Come on. Now we're on combat face off. Piled these in closer. They've moved their three inches. Uh, so let's do. Let's let the. No, Zandra's. Um, <coughs> Briar Queen's going to go in, hopefully. Nope. Okay, so now Xandra's going in with her staff. Two inches. Uh, two hits. Going to try and take out some chain rasps. Aim for the chain rasps. Uh, wounds. One wound. Uh, saves on the five class. Nope. So that is a fawn gone. We'll take this out. Uh, so it's their combat phase. They've already pulled in. I did that pile in, that's why they're there. Uh, so none of them now are in base contact. So that is good for her hero phase. Yeah, she's going to cast Arcane Bolt. Uh, she does it. She doesn't have an automatic thing, so she's going to try and dispel it. She dispels it with ease. Shooting phase. She has no shooting phase. Movement phase. She's not going to move. Uh, charge phase. She's already in contact with Briar, so she's just going to combat her. Free attacks. Can she do some damage on the Briar Queen this time? That's a bad free attacks. Two pluses. One wound saves on a full plus. No. That's a wound on the Briar Queen. Well, Xandra's done well here, I feel. You know. Uh, Briar Queen's coming in. One misses. So then these guys are going to come in so they can pile in, can they? It says here uh, Nighthawks player, pile in. That is part of the combat phase. I always think it's part of the charge phase. Part of the combat phase. So they can chop, come in. I bet they get two attacks, don't they? Yeah. Nasty things. Nasty. Uh, four pluses. So they all miss. Okay. Uh, Battle Shock. Hero phase. Okay. Two dice coming in for her. She gets it only just. So let's try and dispel that. Yeah, we dispel it. Nice. That's good. Movement phase. We're all moved in. No shooting. Yes, there is shooting with her whip. I'm doing it wrong. Getting it all manner of wrong. So three. No. Okay, charge phase. We're already charged in. Combat phase. Okay, let's do her three attacks. It's rending scream. It's range of no, I did have that right. She has two more attacks on the shooting. She gets one. Three to wound. Yeah, okay, so we can save this. Uh, minus three went. No, so she's now on minus three. Yeah, sorry about that. Now it's her combat. That was the shooting. With her Briar Whip, range three, attacks one to hit no. So okay, so now it's Xandra's turn to hit with her free attacks, three pluses. Cool. Uh, three plus wounds. Oh, one wound onto the uh, Briar Queen. It doesn't save it. it. Doesn't save it. So now she's down to two minus two wounds. Uh, but now it's the uh, Fawns, four pluses, two coming in, four pluses to wound, two wounds, no rend, so we could potentially save these, but if we lose both, three pluses, we are, oh, okay, so we are on minus four, we save one, on a three plus, good job, they don't have rend, otherwise that could be all over for her, although I don't think she's going to make it out of this. That's the combat phase, no battle shock, turn three, hero phase, blades, casting, arcane bolt, yep, yeah, seven, 
can we she she is dispelling the bright green like no one's business uh, movement no movement no shooting from her no charging into the combat three dice into the bright green hopefully we can wipe her out uh, two wounds three pluses two actual hits saved and four pluses Ooh. Ooh, that's two wounds into her. Okay, uh, that's another minus four. Ooh, that's nasty. Okay, but now the Briar Queen is going to hit back. Uh, one attack. Uh, three pluses, three pluses to wound. Ooh. She doesn't say. I don't think she can save this, can she? So no, she can. Minus two. So she needs not that. She is dead. That is one. Is Andra Jewel Ball out of action? Ouch. I don't know how that will affect things. Um. Well, yeah. Made a few mistakes there. Got confused between what was range and what was melee in the War Scrolls. But that's it for this game. Uh, yeah, we've got two more to go on for what I've caught up. But by the time these go out, I'm probably behind again. But at least I've caught up with the recording of what I've got. So thank you for watching. Um, if you know if if you know any resources where these videos can be shared or you can let people know they exist that'd be really helpful if you can point in this direction to build up the sort of age of sigma love on this channel it seems to be the worst series really i do but i enjoy doing it so i don't want to stop doing it so if we can help me build it up that'll be superb so thank you for watching guys and until next time take care